So if you guys are sticking with me, I'm going to do uh, pretty much a setup video on here. And I've already turned on my new, I don't know how to say it, but it's a, I guess, VUCA Times, V-U-C-A Times tablet that I got off of Amazon for less than 60 bucks. And I'm going to do some setup stuff here. Let's see, start. Let's see what it says. And I've got English United States, connect to Wi-Fi. I'm able to connect to a Wi-Fi. So that's really cool if it finds it out here because that's a long distance. Wow, it's doing it. Let me get that on here real quick. So give me one second to add that password. It is a little slow as far as... Hmm. I, I think this is actually really kind of slow we'll we'll let you guys make a decision here in a second the keyboard is kind of wonky it's acting a little funny on me so I just put my password in and it's going to see if it obtain a address there it goes it says it's in there it says it's connecting and authenticating that's going very fast so at least the network connectivity seems to be pretty fast inside this thing the keyboard on it, from what I just experienced, is kind of wonky. So, you know, it says there's an authentication problem. So I'm going to have to redo this. Already here, there's a couple issues with what we're dealing with here. I'm going to see if I can do it again. Interesting. So I would let you guys see it if I weren't putting in a password that, you know, I use for my home. Let's see here. I'm almost there. I'm going to click connect again. Let's see if it works this time. If it doesn't work, then we know something's going on. Okay, so it connected. It says no internet, but it's going. Okay, now it's checking for updates. Good. So this much is working. So again, the keyboard's a little wonky. If you're using used to using a um, phone or whatever, even an Android phone, it's a little bit different. I'm not quite used to it. It doesn't feel very comfortable, but maybe I'll get used to it a little later you're gonna to have to get your finger right on the center of the buttons for that keyboard for it to work. Looks like it's taken a few minutes to do this. Um, while I'm doing this, or while it's checking for updates, let me put this this way so it doesn't reflect so much. I'll say this, um, if you guys have enjoyed our videos we've been doing, we now have an app on the Android store, which is why I got this little baby right here, is to test it. So hopefully that will be you know, good for y'all. If you want to find the app quickly, you can go to askthenerd.net and you can download it. I think what I'm going to do right now is take a pause on this. I'm going to um, pause our recording and I'll be back in a moment whenever it updates so that you don't have to sit here and wait all this time. All right. It looks like it's done all the updating. So I'm going to skip that for you. It says you can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, and Google account and more. Um, but I don't have a prior device, so I'm not going to copy anything over. Um, but that'd be really cool that it has that setting. Let's put don't copy and go to next. And so it says just a sec again. It looks like it's going to start getting info together. And then it'll allow me to log into my Google account most likely is what I'm betting so that I can get my apps and everything. So <clears throat> if that's what comes up next... I'll just end this launch. Yes, okay, so now it looks like we're already at the setup point. So this is pretty much it. It went very fast, except for that download for um, for the operating system to be updated. And to be honest, it only took, I wanna say, maybe, 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 it took like four minutes or something. So I was off for four minutes. So all total, it isn't that long. Once you get to this point, you just put in your um, Google account and then you go in and it's going to start uh, getting all of your software and everything on here. So I'm going to stop right now and come back in just a second after I've entered my account and let you see how that All right, goes. I'm back again. It got me logged in. And so I'm going to agree to terms of service and sharing and all that kind of stuff. Now it's checking my info and it says it's getting me logged on in. It's getting my account info. And at this point, it looks like it's going to finish the setup process. So we're really close now. Anyway, so while we're doing this, I cannot wait to show you guys the internals and what it looks like in the brand new Nerd Cheek Ask the Nerd app. I have extra content in there and 
uh, things that, you know, are great resources and ways you can communicate with me as well as we can give alerts and notifications and message. And so um, the first edition is, it's more limited than I want it to be, but it's going to be updated every couple months for the next, first while so that I can get everything out to you guys that I want to get out to y'all. I really enjoy helping and I'm loving our community and what you guys are doing and bringing to it. Okay, so it says just a sec. It looks like it's close. Yay, it's got Google services. I can back up my settings and storage and everything to Google Cloud, use my location, allow to scan for apps and stuff like that. I don't like sending data to folks, so I turned off my um, diagnostics and datas. And so um, I can allow apps and services to scan for Wi-Fi networks and nearby devices at any time, even when Wi-Fi or Bluetooth is off. I don't want to allow that. So maybe that's a security thing you want to turn off. Um, allow apps and services with location permission to use your device's location. Um, that's fine by me. You may not want that. If this is a, a device for your kids, you may want to turn that off. And then I do want to install updates whenever I download them. Okay, so I said accept. And it looks like, hey, great news, guys. It says you got to set a pin. So I'm going to set my pin. And it says it has to be at least four digits. So I set my pin and I'm going to re enter it. And so I re entered my pin. And now it's doing that. And I, the keyboard's working better. That download update, it must have really worked. It says, meet Google Assistant, navigate, communicate, and get things done through Google Assistant. You can turn that on if you want to. I don't want to talk to my device. And then it's setting all the rest of this up. Let's see, any, if I want to add another account, I can. I can change font size, wallpaper, or control info on the lock, lock screen. Wow, that's great. But I'm not going to do that right now. Adding finishing touches. All right, and look at that, we're in. This is the beginning of my new era of being an Android. It's been a while and now I'm back. So that's my setup for my brand new VUCA Times. I don't know what it is, less than $60 tablet. And guys, I gotta tell you, it looks like it runs fairly well. I'm not gonna send that. Let's just see how fast it opens something. Yes, I'm in. Okay, looking good. You know what? It's faster than my Kindle, which is interesting. I've got the new Kindle. Well, that's it for now, guys. I hope this has been really encouraging. If you love what we're doing, be sure to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. If you've got anything that's a request that you want us to run through as a tutorial reveal, just put it in the comments and we'll see if we can't do it and shout you out in the process. Thanks for tuning in and have an awesome day.